Noob here, and I have another unboxing video for you. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2017, I don't know what month it's for, uh... May Legion of Collectors box. I forgot that I, got, I actually got this while I was on vacation and it was sitting on my shelf and somebody reminded me and asked me like, did you get that box? And I was like, oh yeah, I did get that box. So I thought I'd just open it really quick. I got a little bit confused because to be honest, I thought we got a box that had Wonder Woman on it in the past. I thought we got a, a Wonder Woman box, like a themed box from her, but I don't know. Anyways, if you're interested in getting this box, I'm going to put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Patch and pin. Patch and pin. So this is a Wonder Woman themed box. I thought we already got a Wonder Woman themed box, didn't we? I don't remember. Okay, here we go. Here's our patch. I actually like this patch. It looks a lot different than the other patches that we get. It's of Wonder Woman. Oh, is this to this? Because I know her new movie's coming out, huh? I haven't watched that trailer yet. I heard it was. I heard it looked good. For a DC movie, I heard it looked good. Ooh, burn. Just kidding. All right, here's our pin. It's a pin with the Wonder Woman symbol on it. All right, and we're going to pull this open. Ooh, okay, spoiler card. We're going to set to the side. The first item that we have is a set of, oh, Funko socks. I don't think this is the first pair of Funko socks we've gotten. Is it? We don't usually get Funko socks. I don't remember even seeing Funko socks. So this is, these are like pop socks. I feel like we might have gotten one pair in the past. So these are crew socks. They do seem, they're very thin. They're more like dress socks, not like the thicker crew socks that we usually receive when we get socks. And then if you look on here, you have a pop version of Wonder Woman, which is awesome. I actually like that a lot because I love the pop version of things. I can't remember. Does anyone remember if we've received pop socks in the past? I thought we've gotten at least one other pair of pop socks. All right. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, wait. The next item that we have is a pint size hero, and it's of Wonder Woman. It's not a mystery one because I think we all got this one. I'm actually going to not open this. I want to keep this as a collectible because I know it's going to be her. But she's going to look exactly like this. And she's going to be like this big because that's how big pint size heroes are. Basically like a mini dorbs is what these look like. And then we have two pops. Let's check these out. The first pop that we have is Wonder Woman. These are uh, DC Legion of Collector exclusives. Box came in great condition. So this is what she looks like. And there's the side view. So it's basically Wonder Woman with her lasso. Is that what that's called? The rope? The lasso. I don't know what hers is called. But if you're a cowboy, it's called a lasso. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. And then just one more kind of closer up look of the pop. There you go. Very nice. And then the last pop is this. This is a pop of Dr. Maru. This is a another Legion of Collector exclusive. There's what the side looks like. And then this is the set it comes from. Pretty sure I just realized Dr. Maru is a girl. There you go. Cool. All right. So that's all of the items in the box. Let's go ahead and do some prisoner recap. Should be fairly quick. Oh, where's the little card? Next month's theme is gonna be Batman. And here we go. So it doesn't say that these are the first pop socks, but I feel like I've never seen pop socks before. I'm gonna go ahead and give these $5. I would potentially give them more, but the packaging's a little bit bland. So we'll give those $5. Pine Size Heroes, I don't know if this is an exclusive. I don't know if this is an exclusive because these usually cost $3 each. I'm going to go ahead and give it $3.50 because it most likely is an exclusive to this box. Patch, we give $3. Pin, we give $4. I think that's kind of high for that pin though. And then, oh no, Mac, don't stand on my calculator. Okay. Okay, Mac decided that he wants to join. So, there you go, buddy. Okay. <laughs> we have our Dr. Maru Pop. That's going to get $15 because it's an exclusive. And then we have our Wonder Woman Pop. And that's going to get $15 because that's an exclusive. 
And that is everything in the box. So according to my pricing, this box is worth $45.50. We pay $32 a month, which means we got $13.50 extra value, which is um, good. We're looking for at least $10, so we hit that plus some. It's not as good as some of the other Funko boxes that we've received. Usually we get a little bit more value in these boxes. I don't really know why it's so low. It's probably because instead of a shirt, they gave us the socks and this pint size hero so even with that it's only what what did i say five six seven eight fifty instead of ten dollars so that's kind of where some of the value is lacking um it's not lacking it's just not as high as some of the other funko collab boxes that we've received i actually really like this box because i enjoy boxes where we get two pops in them i like pops and i know the the last time we got this box and it had Wonder Woman things, it came with like her in her invisible jet, but she was like really little, I think. So I didn't really like that. I like this because I like Funko Pops. So this box is worth it to me. If I had to rate this box, I would give this box a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. I think the one thing that it's lacking is just a little bit more value. And I kind of miss, I don't know if they've just stopped doing that, but I feel like we haven't received um, Funko Pop tees in these boxes recently. A lot of the boxes they've been trying to give us different types of wearables which I'm okay with I like the socks so I'm okay with that but I think that would give a little bit more value to the box as well because in the past we used to get like a shirt and a comic book or something uh, in addition to the patch and pin so in this one we got less value because we didn't get a shirt but we also didn't get an additional item so yeah I can see where the value is lacking so maybe if they had one more item in this box it would be amazing so I would give this box a 4.5 out of 5 noobs for that reason but I do love these pops a lot I really am a fan of the pops all right guys that was a short video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What are your thoughts? Um, I know I'm pretty late with it, so I apologize, but do you guys like the pops? Would you prefer like one pop and then, usually they give two figures, but like adorbs and then a shirt and a comic book or something. What, what are your thoughts about the, the items in this box? Because I feel like Funko, every so often they go through this phase where they try to mix it up a little bit and they try to give us like different items. They used to always just give us, it was always like, a pop and adorbs or something like two figures and a shirt and a comic book and like a lanyard and the patch and the pin so they've been trying to switch it up recently i've noticed but what are your guys' thoughts about that because some people like the consistency and some people don't like that at all I don't know. It's hit or miss. But yeah, let me know down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which may or may not be coming up right now. Who knows? So be on the lookout for that. Also, don't forget to enter my 2017 May giveaway, which is happening on my channel now. There's a video on my channel if you go watch it, and it might also pop up down here. I don't know for sure. So be on the lookout for that. And, uh, Make sure you enter by May 31st. That is the deadline. I hope that you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!